today we're gonna make the test that nobody asked for, but everybody wants. We're gonna see if serum can sound like a Minimoog. The most popular VST in the world against the legendary synthesizer. So stick to the end if you wanna know if serum can sound like a Minimoog. Let's go. So let's have a look at the Moog sound we're gonna try to recreate today. So this sound has everything we like about the Moog, like the fatness, a lot of resonance. So for the first oscillator, I'm gonna take the uh, basic mini waveform and I'm gonna choose the same thing for the second one. And for the sub oscillator, I'm gonna choose the sawtooth waveform. Next, as you can see on the uh, Moog, I turn down one oscillator by one octave and the other one by two octaves. So we're gonna turn down the sub oscillator two octaves and we should have something like this. Next, we're going to add some noise. So I'm gonna activate the noise section and I'm gonna choose the ARP pink and we're gonna leave all the knobs just like that. We're not gonna to touch them. Next, I'm going to adjust the envelope and I'm gonna make it mono. So we're gonna turn on the mono option and I'm gonna turn up the release almost all the way up. There's a lot of release in that sound. Then we're gonna take the envelope two and assign it to the filter. So I'm gonna take the envelope two, assign it to the filter, turn on the filter. I'm gonna leave it on MG low 12, turn up the resonance right about there and also the drive knob. Then I'm gonna turn down the sustain, turn up the decay and a lot of release. So it should sound like this. Oh, and don't forget to activate the filter for every section. Next, we're going to detune our oscillator because the, the Moog sound is a little bit detuned. So I'm going to turn this up just a little four, just like that. And this one also around 12, just like this. Pretty nice. Then I'm going to take the macro one and assign it to the cutoff because I want control on my filter and I'm going to turn it up just like that, almost halfway. That way I have control on my filter. So right now I'd say we're about halfway there. So let's have a listen to the original uh, Moog sound and our sound where we at right now. So this is the Moog sound. And this is our sound. So to make it sound more vintage and powerful, we're gonna add some tape saturation. It's gonna add a lot of uh, power in the mid range. So I'm gonna choose the tape saturation and I'm gonna turn both knobs halfway, just like that. So next we're gonna add an EQ cause the waveform from the Minimoog has a lot more mid range and less high end than Serum. So I'm going to turn on the EQ. I'm gonna choose this option there and we're gonna boost the mid range just a little, not too much, just like that. And then we're gonna cut some of the high end, not too much, just like this. Then we're going to add that vintage chorus there. So we're gonna turn the chorus on. I'm gonna turn up the low pass filter. Then I'm gonna activate the BPM option there. And I'm gonna turn it up to, uh, turn it down, sorry, to six bar, just like that. Mm -hmm. 
So almost final step, we're gonna add a compressor. Nothing crazy, we're gonna turn up the release like that. And then the uh, delay, we're going to replicate the delay that uh, I added on the Moog. So we're gonna, this one one four, and I think this one one eighth, just like that. Then to finish it up, I felt like the chorus was not exactly like the Moog that I added in the Arturia plugin. So I'm gonna add a hyper dimension that I'm just gonna leave just like that. And then I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I cheated just a little. I added an EQ over my sound. I boosted the low end and the high end, nothing crazy. But you guys are the judges. So let me know in the comment section what you think if I cheated or not. So let's listen to the original Moog sound compared to our sound in Serum. So what do you guys think? I think we're pretty damn close. And on top of that, we did everything in the box. Of course, if I had the choice, I would choose the hardware Minimoog. But nowadays, softwares are crazy and easy to use. If you practice your ears and your sound design techniques, you can do pretty much anything you want. Also, as usual, if you want to support my work and use my Cubase templates, there's my Patreon page. Thanks for watching, thanks for the support, and see you in the next video. Ciao.